Welcome back to Dorset. The sun's shining. At least it is for a while. Looks a bit stormy around the valley, different places, but I think we might be able to get away with this. So I'm in need of a quick raised bed to put some produce in. Um, I want to put some celery in it, to be honest. And uh, just a quick quickie on how I set up these pallet collars. I do find them useful. They are really, really good. Um, I don't know how long they'll last. Not really worried. They're cheap enough to get and replace. But um, as you can see, um, there's one here that I set up last year. I've topped it off this year and I've got carrots growing in there now. Some show carrots. Don't know what size they'll get to, but we'll see. So anyway, cardboard. There's a lot of people that say that when you put the cardboard down, you should water it. I don't. I leave it to let drag up the moisture itself. By doing so, it rots down a lot slower and therefore stifles the weeds for longer. And I also put it shiny side up because if you look at a cardboard box, the inside is rougher than the outside. The outside, to me, is better facing up. It seems to last longer. So we'll just put some of this in and then we'll uh, get some of the um, compost in as well. Um, today I'm going to use some of the really, really old uh, wood chip that I got the other day and as the base so that the first frame will get filled right up with that. Might come up a bit more than that and then we'll put some better compost on the top. So that's the first collar in place. Um, now, what I do then is I actually put some weight on each corner just to try and get the um, steels to dig into the cardboard a little bit. It holds it in place. And the reason I've got cardboard sticking out all the way around is that will suppress the weeds whilst the bed's getting established. And as the boxes get wet and deteriorate, I'm never worried about just running the mower over them, chomping them up with the grass and putting them in the compost heaps. So it all gets used. So onward and upward. Um, what I'll do now is I'll go and get some more of that compost and I'll come back to you when we've got the uh, next layer on and finishing off. I don't think you really want to watch me straining me back and hurting myself putting compost in here. Laters. So there we go. Took me longer than I thought. Um, not as fit as I used to be. Had to stop for painkillers and coffee. But we're there. We finished for the day. So it took five wheelbarrows of well-rotted um, wood chip one and a half of um, mushroom compost and then I just put a scattering of some of my homemade on the top and now all I got to do is water it in and let it settle and it's going to be cold overnight tonight they say so I'll put the celery in tomorrow and also by then the level will, will have settled down a little bit and I'll see if it needs topping up or not so there we go cheap way of making a raised bed and you can do it whatever height you want just keep adding sections Keep on gardening.